Now for more on the World University Games, we go to my fellow sports scene host Mike Fox in Chengdu. Hi there Mike, so the opening ceremony is tonight and I expect the excitement is really building there. Please tell us what's going on and if possible a bit about the opening ceremony. Hi Greg, well never mind about tonight. Just look at this fantastic setting that I have behind me, the, the Dongan Sports Lake with the stadium. It really is beautiful. It's a fantastic sunny day here today. Yesterday when we arrived to take a look around the media centre, it was a bit rainy, which didn't put too much of a damner on the spirits. But today we have a scorcher leading up to expectations for tonight's opening ceremony. So what can we expect? Well, as we previously said when we've spoken, China likes to put on a show, especially when we know the world is watching, when they're inviting the world's athletes when they're inviting the world's media, we know we're going to have pyrotechnics, lights and one fantastic show. I think everyone around here is really looking forward to it, but there is a lot of work to do. A lot of operational work has gone into this opening ceremony and I think everybody just can't wait to see it pay off and get these games underway. Well, you've certainly gotten lucky with the outside and we'd like to hear a bit more about the inside as the World University Games are, of course, a global event and media from around the planet are in Chengdu to cover it. So tell us about the facilities set up for journalists and where you'll be working. Well, obviously, if you're going to have an international event with international staff, you're going to need a huge building. And we've been very lucky with the main media centre, actually. It caters for everyone's need. You've got broadcasting rooms, you've got workstations, press conference rooms, coffee shops, convenience stores. And as you're about to see, I promise I haven't had time for any fun. Hello, Mike Fox here. You find me at the main media centre for the Chengdu World University Games. It's got all the main conveniences that you'd expect it to have with this being such an important international event. Right here, we have a coffee shop. Very important to us journalists, believe me. A bit further down, we have a convenience store. And a bit further down from that, we've got a place where you can get some lovely souvenirs, including some fantastic collector's stamps. It's set up to provide those in the media with the best chance of doing their best work, but there are one or two distractions. Oh wow. Oh, you gotta try this later. Like, like, this is really fun. which, as I'm sure most of you at home already know, is a very famous Chinese alcohol. I think we'll give it a try. Not when I'm working, of course. Well, that brings our tour of the main media centre to an end. The weather could be better, but the facilities really couldn't be. Now it's over to the athletes for the next 11 days of competition. Mike Fox, CGTN, Chengdu. OK, well, maybe a bit of fun, but in all seriousness, it's good to have everyone together getting ready for the event, which is kicking off in just over four hours' time. I'm going to hand back to you hosting the show. Well, I'm going to go back to my video games. I mean work. <laughs> well, good to see you're getting some exercise along with that 